Join us as we explore the most powerful hurricanes in history in this gripping 2024 documentary. We delve into the most devastating storms ever recorded, examining their formation, impact and the lessons we can learn from these natural disasters. From hurricane names that have become synonymous with destruction to the scientific advancements that help us predict these fierce storms, this video provides an in-depth look at the power of nature. Discover the top hurricanes that have left their mark on the world, including their wind speeds, categories, and the regions most affected. We'll also feature personal accounts from survivors, expert analysis, and stunning visuals that capture the sheer force of these storms. Whether you're a weather enthusiast or just curious about the forces of nature, this video is packed with information that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content about extreme weather phenomena and their impact on our planet. Stay informed and prepared for whatever nature has in store. Florida prepares for the arrival of Hurricane Milton, which is approaching its shores with maximum sustained winds of up to 240 kilometers per hour. This powerful weather phenomenon, just hours away from landfall, has raised significant concern among residents and local authorities. Meteorologists warn that Milton could cause severe flooding, landslides, and extensive damage to infrastructure. Alerts have been issued statewide, urging citizens to follow evacuation instructions and stock up on essential supplies. Local authorities have activated shelters, and efforts are underway to ensure the safety of the population. With a trajectory poised to impact densely populated areas, Milton joins the list of the most dangerous hurricanes in history. Events such as Hurricane Katrina in 2005 and Hurricane Maria in 2017 have left deep scars in the affected communities. As Hurricane Milton approaches, fear looms over Florida, reminding everyone of nature's devastating power. The moment is critical. Satellite images show a large hurricane with destructive potential. Damage forecasts are alarming with estimates pointing to significant losses in agriculture, housing and public infrastructure. The community is uniting in preparation to face Milton's onslaught, hoping its impact will be less severe than anticipated. Meanwhile residents are urged to stay informed through official channels and to follow safety guidelines established by meteorological and emergency management experts. History teaches us that when it comes to hurricanes, preparedness is key to minimizing risks. As the storm intensifies, the region faces one of the most critical moments in its recent history, reminding us that the force of hurricanes is a constant reminder of human vulnerability to nature's whims. Hurricane David, 1979 On August 25, 1979, Hurricane David formed 1,500 kilometers southeast of the Cape Verde Islands, and three days later, rushed into the Caribbean Sea. With maximum winds of 280 km per hour, it became the most destructive natural disaster in the history of the Dominican Republic. The torrential rains caused by the hurricane washed away houses, churches, schools, and entire towns into the sea. More than 200,000 people were left homeless, and 70% of the country's agriculture and electrical supply system were destroyed. The damages caused by Hurricane David exceeded $1 billion, an extremely high figure by 1979 standards, and a devastating blow to the budget of the small Dominican Republic. The winds and flooding destroyed the southwestern coast, with nearly 80% of homes in ruins. Banana crops and coconut palms were completely ruined, plunging the nation into an economic depression that took several years to recover from. Hurricane Flora, 1963. Hurricane Flora struck the Eastern Caribbean Sea with full force on September 29, 1963. It slammed into the island of Tobago in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, sinking numerous ships in the harbor due to the enormous waves. The torrential rains destroyed more than 3,000 homes in a matter of hours. But the most devastating blow was the destruction of half of the coconut palms on the island. Tobago never recovered from this disaster and had to undergo a forced transition from agriculture to tourism, changing its history forever. In the Dominican Republic, Flora was the greatest natural disaster in its history. Flooding caused by torrential rains turned vast areas into devastating torrents, and although the hurricane dissipated, 10,000 square kilometers of Dominican territory remained flooded for months. In Haiti, winds of up to 240 kilometers per hour destroyed almost all coffee plantations, 
and the country took three years to recover and produce a new crop. Damage caused by Hurricane Flora is estimated at $700 million. Although it was not the costliest hurricane, Flora is remembered as one of the most terrifying in the region's history. Hurricane Katrina is globally known for virtually devastating the city of New Orleans in August 2005. The city's levees designed to protect it from flooding were unable to contain the unexpected force of the hurricane. The enormous waves driven ashore by Katrina breached 53 levees, submerging nearly the entire city underwater. Approximately 80% of the city's residents, totaling 1 million, were able to evacuate, but tens of thousands were left without shelter, food, or water, as the military and the U.S. National Guard took time to arrive for rescue. The damage was not limited to New Orleans alone. Katrina's winds reached maximum speeds of 280 kilometers per hour, destroying 240 kilometers of the Mississippi coastline. The hurricane virtually flattened all buildings along 800 meters of the coast, and thousands of hectares of forest were devastated. 16 natural parks were closed, and wetlands with rare plant and animal species were completely submerged. Katrina forced more than a million people to leave their homes, causing the largest internal migration in U.S. history. The damages were enormous, estimated at $125 billion, making it the costliest hurricane in history. While Hurricane Harvey in 2017 caused similar damage in the U.S., it did not reach the level of devastation seen in Katrina. Hurricane Maria devastated the Northeast Caribbean in September 2017, causing damage valued at $91.610 billion across several countries. Winds reached 240 kilometers per hour, destroying 98% of the homes in Dominica. Agricultural land was obliterated, and for two full days the devastation was such that many thought Dominica had been completely destroyed. Local communications were entirely cut off. Although Dominica was severely affected, Hurricane Maria is remembered globally mainly for its impact on Puerto Rico. On September 20th, the hurricane struck the island with winds recorded at 233 kilometers per hour before the radar measuring them was destroyed. Within hours, 3.4 million residents were left without electricity. In addition to the loss of electricity, Maria violently destroyed homes, roads, and virtually the entire coastal area of La Perla. The city of Dorado Baja was completely flooded and the military barely managed to rescue the population. Many parts of Puerto Rico remained submerged and without electricity or communication for months. Agriculture also suffered severely, with millions of coffee trees destroyed. It is estimated that the complete recovery of the industrial sector could take a decade. Hurricane Mitch struck Honduras from October 29th to November 3rd, 1998, with maximum sustained winds of 285 kilometers per hour, devastating the country. Terrible waves reaching 13 meters in height and incessant torrential rains destroyed approximately 80,000 homes, forcing many people to flee what remained of their homes. This left around 1.5 million people homeless, representing 20% of the total population at the time. The catastrophe was so severe that Honduras regressed 50 years in economic growth. Mitch inundated the region with a record of at least 1.9 meters of rain in three days, equivalent to half a year of rainfall. This was the last maximum value recorded, as the rain gauge was swept away by the hurricane's force. Mitch's impact on Honduras has been studied as a clear example of the disasters caused by powerful hurricanes. The Great Hurricane of 1780 is considered the most destructive in history. At this time, British, French, and Dutch sailors had precise knowledge of hurricanes. The United States was fighting for its independence, and the Caribbean Sea was filled with military and commercial ships. The hurricane affected the Lesser Antilles, first striking Barbados from October 10th to 16th, with winds of at least 321.9 kilometers per hour. It is estimated that hurricanes tear the bark off trees at winds exceeding 300 kilometers per hour. Survivors of this nightmare recounted that the hurricane lifted the cannons from ships, and the wind was so intense that they could not hear each other. In Barbados, Castries, and Martinique, the wind and waves destroyed all buildings and uprooted all trees. In St. Lucia, enormous waves swept away houses in St. Vincent, leaving only 12 of the 600 buildings standing. 
In the Bermuda Archipelago, approximately 50 ships ran aground in shallow waters. Near the island of Grenada, winds sank 40 French ships. The waves that swept through the port of Castries annihilated the fleet of British Admiral Rodney, an event that had repercussions in world history, as the loss of this fleet weakened the influence of the British monarchy in the North Atlantic. In 1780, the American army survived an extremely harsh winter that reduced its combat capability to zero. How might the course of world history have changed if it were not for this great hurricane that sank the British fleet? It was, without a doubt, a fateful catastrophe. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave your own travel hacks in the comments below. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more travel tips, tricks, and hacks. I'll see you in the next video.